Hi YouTube, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're looking at the Mark 6 Ford Transit. As you can see, she's quite clean. But to get to a mirror standard affection is the stuff I want to show you here is what I use to clean it. First off I start with, it might be over the top for some people for washing their cars, is get um, a Silic Bang degreaser. Remove your wheel trims. They only pull, well, push on, pull off sort of simple trims. There's no cable ties. Um, I can't put cable ties on these ones because they hit against the drum and the brake disc at the front. Um, so move these, uh, get the Silic Bang spray and do the actual whole hub off the wheel and square it on the back of the back of the hubcap. Um, the back ones you don't really need to worry about, the front ones they get a bit gummed up with all the disc dust from the pads. So once you remove them, square it so it bang on. That stuff. Only on the wheel trims, not on the front, because you could up, upset the um, chrome in on it. Um, then get your simple auto glim car shampoo and wash. That's what I use, uh, about two capfuls, uh, average bucket of water. Um, also wash the whole vehicle from top to bottom. All your bumpers, everything. I always use a clean sponge for the body work. And then when I go to the bumpers and wheels and up in the arches, I have quite an old sponge, wash all that. And then I use a new sponge just on the bumpers. I don't put new sponge in the arches. Um, so once you've done that step, I don't do this weekly, this is sort of maybe once every couple of months. Um, you get a, this sort of stuff. I use a lot of water glim stuff, I will swear by it, I recommend it to anyone. Uh, you can get a water glim cut and compound, but it's quite uh, dear really. Well it's dear but it's not, if you know what I mean, it's a small bottle, let's say. This is free. Um, fast, uh, fast cut. This was what they use uh, gouges when they respray a vehicle for like spraying arches, and then they use this afterwards to cut the paintwork back to blend it in. It's quite uh, coarse stuff, but only use that when your vehicle's gone dull. When the paintwork's lost its shine, you can't get it back with ordinary polish. Use that. You probably want to use that probably about twice in the. Uh, Mirrored twice every 10 years, no one use it a lot because it is cutting away, it cuts a lot of paint away from more so than teacup. But I quite often use it for if you get in the winter, you get um, bits of grit and everything dig into the paint, you get um, tar from the roads in summer, that can get it off quite easy. Once you've done that step, you get an auto glim uh, polish simply apply on a panel, a small panel um, area at a time, um, do little circle motions all the way across and then finish in lines. The reason you finish in lines, because you don't do circles like that and then you leave it dry, you buff it off. In the sunlight you'll see rings going all the way down the side of your vehicle. So the trick is obviously like I said, small circular motions overlapping and then straight. All along them maybe go down and then go straight, don't matter. Leave it go off about four or five minutes, depending on the heat of the weather, and then buff it off with a microfiber cloth. And that'll give you quite a nice shiner. To go on top of that, if you really want to, I go for a showroom shine polish. Simply squirt on, do big circular motions. You can use that on his own without not washing the vehicle but you use a lot of it this bottle meant to do 10 cars um, i've bought it for a ford transit short wheelbase low top it does about five washes so you use a lot so if you give the vehicle a good wash first and give this a coating afterward you only use probably about a car's worth on it so if you did that on a car you probably get about 20 washes out of that bottle. That bottle is about 27 quid off Autoglim, uh, show and shine. 
So then comes to the bumpers. Um, again, I swear for water glim. This is uh, tr trim and um, decal sort of stuff. Uh, wheels, tyres, you can spray the tyres in it. Spray it on. You can leave it if you want, it'll leave a shine. Or you can spray it and buff it with a cloth and it'll go like a, a dull sort of colour. So I just got all the vehicle with it. All the bumpers, tyres, leave it for 10 minutes, buff them off, and then just go gently spray over it again, just leave it then. That's my trick there for you lot. So, once you finish this well, you can put this on your tyres on top of that stuff. This is just cheap stuff you can get, it's a tyre foam. You can get them from Halfords, Tesco's Makes, down Traeger Mills, Traeger Mills, um, b &Q, all that sort of stuff. That's about four quid a can. Um, to the glass again, it's ordinary sort of glass cleaner. It's like a foam, it sprays on. I don't know if I'll show you on the pavement here. You see it comes on like a foam. Smear that over the glass, buff off. The tyre foam is also the same sort of pencil. As you can see, that's what the sort of tyre foam goes up, or just shrink back. Um, so, you put your wheel trims back on. You've polished your vehicle up nice and clean, and then you get a wet day, and then you back out on the road. You get all that spray over the side of your vehicle. It always comes up roughly in vans, it all comes up about this sort of area, all down the side, and the tailgate gets it quite bad. Trick is, um, is get your hose pipe out, simply wash it, you'll see the water just come trickling down. It won't hang around, it'll just go. Once you've washed it, and this is just going to be like an ordinary wash. This is an ordinary wash for me. You get an auto glim, uh, aqua wax. Get the vehicle all wet, shampoo it all off, wash it all off. Get your chamois and wipe it all to the water that is pretty much gone. It's 95% gone. You've got probably about 5% of water left on it. Simply just, for this panel, it's probably about three foot by two foot. You want one, two, three, four sprays. Get an all uh, microfiber cloth and work that in with the water over the bodywork. Um, leave it for a couple minutes, another clean cloth, buff it off. If your vehicle's clean before you polish your stuff, when you spray that stuff on, the cloth you use, to spread it around, it'll get wet and the uh, the polish will get into the cloth and everything. So when you finish, and if that cloth's clean but wet, don't chuck it in the washing machine. Get a bag, put it in it, seal it. So next time when you use it, that cloth's already wet and it's got a lot of polish held in it of that spray. Because if not, you chucking that in the washing machine, you're washing that away. That's probably nearly half a vehicle's wash worth from that cloth you just chucked in the washing machine. So then you just go for a simple buff off. Um, I use I'm going to get them for you. The microfiber cloths, I absolutely swear by these. Don't get one packet, but get loads. Get as many as you can. They normally about, well, the B&Q down Cornwall Way, I can imagine B&Qs up around up country and stuff. It's about £4 for six of these microfiber cloths, which ain't bad. Sometimes they do two packets for £5. Um, go for the proper ones. Don't The Tesco's ones. I'm not knocking them off. They're about three pound a packet of four, but they're not as good quality. They get clogged up with polish quite quick, and then they come pretty useless for that reason. When you finish these cloths, put them in your washing machine, but don't use Comfort. Just give them a simple wash. You put Comfort with them, it takes away the sort of stat uh, static effect to it for taking the polish away. So that's another little tip for you lot out there. Um, So that's what you simply do to wash the whole vehicle. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of a shine. So let's run through the prices of these stuff to help anyone out there. This bottle of Aquavax Autoglim normally comes in a packet with two microfiber cloths can vary around about £10 to £15. 
around that sort of price. It's quite dear stuff, but it does go a long way. This one I haven't shown you yet. This one you use on interiors. Um, you can use it on fabric seat, uh, seats. You basically spray it on, work it in, it comes out like a foam, and get a damp cloth and wipe it. Um, Squat it on your dashboard, plastic, leather, floor, door steps. You can use it on outside trims if you want to. Um, curtains, if you've got a camper van, that'll do it all. That's around about anything from £5 to about £7 a bottle. This is the, the tyre one I mentioned to you earlier on. This one does the tyres and black bumpers and everything. That one can vary around about £7 to maybe £10. This is your Autoglim polish. It's a uh, one litre bottle. It's quite a big one, you can get half size ones. Um, that one varies around about £12. Sort of roughly around that sort of price. This window cleaner, you can get lots of window cleaners anywhere, you can use any makes. Um, you might be able to read that make, I ain't very good at reading, so that's why I let you focus on these things. Um, that's about £4, £5 a bottle. Uh, this is the Autoglim shampoo and wash. This like conditions the paintwork after you've done it. Uh, know when you get your ordinary car wash and you put it in a bucket of water. Uh, you wash your vehicle on a sunny day, time you get to the other side, you come back to it and the other side's gone blotchy. This does not do that. This will allow you to get around the whole vehicle, wash it all, and then come around the hose pipe and rinse it off, and there's no blotching. So that is good stuff to have. That's around about £6, maybe £8 a bottle. It could be cheaper. Uh, spend your way look, go on eBay, you might get in your local shops. I can imagine Halfords and stuff can be a bit dearer for it, but it is good stuff worth having. You only need two capfuls and an average bucket of water, and that will go a long way. The showroom shine is about 25 quid to 29 quid a bottle. Um, like I said, it does 10 cars, probably about 5 vans. But if you wash your vehicle before you use it, you cleaned all the dirt away, if you know what I mean. And this just basically is like a quick polish around. Uh, people say on TV you can wash your car in 30 minutes, but you'll be quite fast and you'll probably miss a lot of bits. But take your time on it. That's what, like I said, 29, 30 quid a bottle. Slip bang. That's about your three pound, uh, four pound bottle you get for Tesco's, any supermarkets, Morrison, Sainsbury's, anything. Tire foam. That's around about four, three quid a bottle. Fast cut, uh, 3M fast cut. That's around about thirty quid a bottle. So that's all the stuff I use to clean my vehicles. My Ford Transit, we've got two Audis, and a Peugeot, do them all, and even a Vespa scooter, so you can do them all, anything, use it. So, try these uh, products, I swear by them, these are what I seriously recommend you to use. Don't worry about using this one much, and the window one, and the tyre one as much, but the Autoglim ones, and the show and shines, it's the ones that are worth having in your collection of car cleaning kit, with lots of microfiber cloths. So, as you can see, the vehicle is all shining, spotless, and it will stay like that for a long time. Once you do that, the vehicle should last about six months. I do it probably about every three months, but that's me being fussy. I like my vehicles to look good, and it's up to you what you want to do. You can try it. You can even buy just the polish and do it. It will make a huge difference to your car, or van, camper van, caravans. Most of those Autoglim stuff are safe for caravan bodyworks and camper van body works where you've got a softer aluminium don't worry about it, it will work on it you can use the auto glim polish on the glass you want I wouldn't use it on the windscreen that's a bit stupid so like I said that's my Mark 6 full transit shining so thank you for watching this video I hope it has helped you lot out there for coming to polish your vehicle van and everything so for me cheers and go on and please subscribe